So, Steve, let me just get this straight. So, um, at first, we're told about the Chinese spy balloon. What me worry? Nothing to worry about it. Then we're told there's a weather balloon. Then it was told, well, they flew in the Trump administration. Mattis denied it, said it was a lie. So they abandoned that narrative. Then the Biden administration said, well, we don't want to provoke anything. Somebody might get hurt. We don't want to shoot it down over Montana. Then they let it float across the country, and they shoot it down over the Atlantic Ocean outside of the Carolinas. Now we got this imbecile Tony Blinken coming on and saying, well, you know, um, on second thought, uh, this was a very serious surveillance balloon flying over our military installations, gaining intel. And he said that on Sunday. Steve, what, what are they doing here? What, what is this thing? Yeah, well, unfortunately, the administration has done a horrible job of communicating with Americans, but it's basically showing the entire world a, a signal of weakness. It, it was, I think, will provoke not only the Chinese to try to do more, but any other do-no-gooder around the world saw that not only does the administration not care about sovereignty at our borders, it also doesn't seem to take a very aggressive posture protecting American airspace. So the 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 mixed messages of saying this is no big deal, it was only really disclosed because private citizens saw it, uh, and then contrast that with the post hoc political narrative, which is usually what the Communist Party of China engages in. It tries to just engage an aggressive narrative to tell you, don't believe what you see, don't believe what you hear, just repeat this mantra after me over and over and over to try to reshape reality. So it wasn't a big deal, but we had to spend a bucket of money using a Sidewinder missile to blow it out of the sky. And then any other object that we happen to see, it's back to the Wild West and plinking things out of the sky without saying really what they are or providing any evidence. So it's a complete mixed message. I wish we could have confidence in our national security officials at this point, but, the, but our leadership has undermined our ability to have that confidence by behaving this way.